Could you go back to the hack MD and redo yeah. that? Yep. Yeah. Um, I'll, I'll grab this quick link here and stick it into the notes as well. Um, okay. Sorry. <clears throat> yeah. So this is a super brief outline of the steps required in order to implement a new and on creds registry for Akapai. Um, the super condensed format of it is we need to make sure that we just implement the base and on creds resolver and the base and on creds uh, registrar, uh, which can be found here inside of the GitHub repo for Akapai. <clears throat> These are pretty straightforward interfaces. The re resolver class, of course, handles the retrieval of, of schemas, cred defs, et cetera. And then the registrar is responsible for the registering of those same objects. The interface is pretty well defined. Uh, we have models uh, representing the expected return values um, for the retrieval and models for the expected inputs for the registration. Um, those models, um, which is also linked to in my notes, <clears throat> can be found in here. So the non cred schema, for instance, uh, this is the object that we pass into the interface, and it has all of the basic components that we would expect to see on a schema, um, issuer ID, adder names, name, version. Um, and then this is the object that, uh, that the rest of the non cred stack expects to inter interact with. <clears throat> So the only other thing to keep in mind after implementing uh, those interfaces is uh, revocation artifact creation is an automatic process that is driven by uh, the emission of events. Uh, so after your <clears throat> schema has been finalized on your network, you need to call the non-creds issuer uh, finish schema method, and that will cause the events that govern the creation of revocation stuff to occur automatically. Um, same with creddef and, and the other objects. Um, so if you end up in a pending state, you're waiting for the, the final identifier to be available as it gets published to your network. Once it's available, you come back to your plugin and you call this as finish creddef finish schema. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> so one of the things to point out there is that um, Certainly with the new and on creds, with the original indie stuff, um, identifiers were predictable and therefore we could set them ahead of time with the non creds RS and, and how it works. It's all um, accepts um, post um, the ledger. Uh, the item is um, named afterwards or can be named afterwards. So that um, the schema is the schema ID is not an input to the create schema process, but rather an output. It then can be used in the cred def, which likewise is then available. The cred def ID is available, and the revocation work, and so on and so forth. So it's all um, you. You don't have any identifiers that are included when you're creating things. Right. Right. Exactly. Yep. Good, thank so you. when that identifier becomes available, um, I think that's actually one of the inputs to like our finish schema method, for instance, if I jump to that real fast. Um, it did not jump for me. Let's try that again. Finish schema. Uh, so we, we pass in an intermediate, in, bleh, intermediate identifier of this job ID. And then the final schema ID is given. Um, so we replace the job ID with the schema ID, and that's how we reference that schema from uh, other parts in the code from that point forward. Excellent. Yeah. Um, which calls out one other thing that's probably relevant. Um, so these models that I pointed out um, earlier. Um, let's see. Let's go to like the schema result. Um, yeah, our schema result object here. So this is what is returned on a uh, register schema call in for the registry interface. Um, so we get back uh, something that contains a job ID, a schema state, registration metadata, and schema metadata. Um, the schema state 
is made up of uh, a state. Um, right, a state a schema ID and a schema value. Uh, the state represents whether it has been finished yet or if it's still pending um, having a, a, an identifier associated with it. Uh, so schema ID will not be set if the state has not yet reached finished. Um, so to use slightly different words to say that, the only time the schema ID will be set on the schema state um, as part of the schema result object is when state is finished. Okay. Uh, so this this state object is what helps us to represent that pending operation. Um, and then it's up to the plugin, the network plugin, to um, connect the dots. And then at the end of the process, when it is actually available and, and finished, calling that finish method. So everything that happens between registration or the triggering of registration by the anon creds interface and calling the finish schema or finish cred def or whatever the object may be, uh, all of the steps in between, if there are any, um, that's going to be up to the registry implementation to make sure that it's being handled correctly. And if there's any exotic steps or anything that needs to happen in order to accomplish that, um, the uh, the registry can also provide like admin API routes, for for example, that help step through that process if necessary. Excellent. Um, yeah, so <clears throat> the anon creds interface in ACPI is pluggable. Um, so there are included by default uh, a certain set uh, of registries. The only one that's actually implemented here is the legacy indie one. There's just stubs for did web and did indie. Um, so this this legacy indie registry can be used as an example. Um, it's got all of the methods it needs. Um, you might have to filter a little bit to uh, ignore some of the indieisms, um, but the general shape and the structure, uh, as well as usage of pending uh, state representation for the endorser workflow, all of those are are found in here. Um, Excellent. So this is a good example for that. Um, and then finally, to register your plugin with Akapai on startup, uh, your plugin will, as other plugins for Akapai do, uh, it, it needs to provide the setup method, and then the plugin value that you pass to Akapai on startup uh, needs to point to the module containing the setup method. And then just like is done in this case here, um, we get an injection context. We can retrieve an instance of the the global and on creds registry, which is responsible for routing uh, register or resolve requests to the specific registry based on the identifier. So if I got a did indie did, mm -hmm. we delegate to the did indie registry. Um, <clears throat> so this is where we need to register our, our plugged in uh, uh, non creds registry. Uh, and we would follow this pattern to accomplish that. Probably don't have to use the class provider as long as you just get an instance of the class. You can call registry dot register your your class. Do we have a separate registrar for did indie versus legacy indie yet? We do. Um, oh. So legacy indie um, because it has identifiers that look different from did indie identifiers. We do actually have a separate registry for it. Okay. However, of course, because they're both indie, there's yeah. going to be a lot of overlap in the functionality there. Yeah. So when whenever we get around to actually implementing the did indie registry, there's probably going to be some refactors to make sure that we're calling common code from both locations and don't have to you know repeat ourselves too much. Uh, but it, yeah. it still makes sense for there to be a, a separate entity to represent the did indie registry. Yeah. And um, yeah. for something like did web. We could use what essentially is the indie tail server as another way to <laughs> implement that. Um, as as it might be a, the, right. a a shortcut way of providing yet another example of how to do such a thing, which is we have some external component that puts the files in the right place as as defined by did web such that we could um, 
implemented did web relatively easily and all we're doing is sending it to what amounts to a copy of indie tales file that puts files in the right place right okay. yep yep oh yep. we would need back basically from the tales modified tail server is just a url that yeah. identifies um uh, the location of the object and then yeah yeah that would be about it okay Okay, that's awesome. Uh, cool. Any um, questions? Yeah, any questions from Jamie, Ian, or Keith? I think that was very informative, and I would love a copy of this to review after. So, cool. yeah, as, as far as next step go, Jamie, did you have something? No, I have like. I knew how most of that worked, but uh, I didn't realize you could register the plugins it's like that. So that's interesting. But thanks for going over it again. Yeah. Okay. So as I say, I've got to produce something or we've got to produce something and I was going to take it on <laughs> for Hedera. What I'm uh, proposed to do is um, I will edit down this recording um go through it write up a document that will go into akapai uh repo and then ask um each of you to contribute to it as as appropriate so um i'll take a cut at doing a first document and get it into a pr and get it published and then um we can follow up with hedera as they start to do their work i think they might have a developer available to do it i'm i don't know I've been very slow at answering them, which I feel bad about, but you know, that's the way it is. Unfortunately, um, just so much going on. Um, but I'll, uh, I'll, we'll start there. So I'll take this little bit of a document, expand it out into add more words that I think will take what Daniel said and, and we'll see where we get. Cool. Okay. They can so, be the guinea pigs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, and then obviously the thing we'd like to do is, uh, you know, help them on Discord, help them on GitHub issues and and have any conference calls they need to, to help out as far as getting that, getting that implemented. Excellent. Cool. Okay. Anything else? All right. Thank you so much, Daniel. That was awesome. Thanks everyone for joining in yeah. and um, we'll move this forward. See if we can get another one implemented. Probably two, as they say, yeah. Deep web, I think we need to do, um, we should just get it done. So um, I'm thinking of different ways of getting that done. So uh, we'll see about that. Excellent. Cool. Thanks all. Yep.